A YouTuber scammer made over $50 million in course sales over the past three years, promising the world and delivering next to nothing. This has caused his clients to rightfully be angry, which has led to a total of eight different lawsuits being filed and the YouTuber's business declaring bankruptcy. Now, the individual we're talking about today is named Seth Neep, who ran the business known as Just One Dime, which is ironic because everyone who invested their money in this company now has just one dime in their pockets. Now, Seth has a history of trying different business ventures to become wealthy. At one point, he was a pastor who sold a book titled Slaying Bible Apathy, but after Seth realized Jesus just wasn't profitable enough for him, he decided to try selling Amazon courses instead. Now, for anyone who has been on YouTube for a few years, you know that from 2017 to 2020, selling courses teaching people how to buy cheap products from China and then resell them for massive profit on Amazon were all the rage. Many gurus sold the courses for upwards of $10,000, with Kevin David being the biggest name in the field. Kevin was also recently sued by the FTC and had a $53 million judgment against him for false advertising. Now, Seth was never as flashy as Kevin, but nonetheless, he was able to carve out a niche selling his overpriced courses. Now, the real problem for Seth was when he took his scam game to the next level because Seth started selling a program called done for you that cost a minimum of $30,000 to be a part of. I'll let Seth in his own words explain what the program was. I and my team would like to build an Amazon business for you. Here's how it works. You invest, we build, together we make profits. So you own the business 100%. We build it huge so that you have the option to sell it later for up to 10 to 30 times your initial investment or you keep it as a passive investment. It keeps producing you cash flow every single month. We do all the work. So that was Seth's initial sales pitch. They would do all the work for you of setting up your Amazon business. They would decide on what product to help you sell, and then you would pay 10 grand per product to get those items shipped from China to the US. Seth and his team would then sell them for you through your store on Amazon. Now, there are many problems with this business model, but let's go over the three biggest issues. The first problem is that all the risk is on you. Seth's team isn't investing anything into your company. You pay all the money and then they leech off of you. What they teach in the course that costs 30K can all be found for free on YouTube. None of their material is secret knowledge. They just take advantage of people with too much money and sell them unneeded products with next to zero risk for them and all the risk in the world to you. The second issue is that if Seth and his team could easily create these profitable Amazon stores, like they claim, they wouldn't have any need for you or your money. Why take on clients and build stores for them and only get a percentage of the profits? If they are as good as they say, why not create their own stores and just make all the profits themselves? Seth is a multimillionaire. He has capital to do this, but he doesn't. He wants to use your money because again, he wants to take none of the risk of failure. He wants to leave all that dangling over your head. Final issue is that the concept of buying cheap products in China and selling them for more money in the US on Amazon is an outdated business model. There are now hundreds of thousands of people who have learned about this and are doing the same thing. This business worked really well in 2015, but it's now oversaturated, cutthroat, and for most people will never make them a profit. On top of all of these issues, with the pandemic happening and then massive inflation in 2022, it became near impossible to do this business model. Just One Dime, in many cases, wasn't able to get their clients' products out of China, and many people had to wait for over a year or more before they could finally get their store running on Amazon. Keep in mind, this is after they had already invested over 30K, and rightfully so, were pissed. Seth and Just One Dime tried to pivot their business in mid-2022 when they decided to shut down their done-for-you Amazon business and then began selling a new 30K course teaching people about online arbitrage to try and make more money to keep Just One Dime afloat. We know you trusted us with your funds and expected us to turn a strong ROI on that. We wanted this more than anything and I feel sick, embarrassed, and deeply disappointed that we have come to this. Please note that for anyone who we are building both online arbitrage and private label stores for, for. We will continue your online arbitrage store as normal and nothing changes in regards to that. There are no refund options as we simply don't have the money for refunds. However, if we can still double your dime and at the least make you your money back, we would love the opportunity to do that. So this is also an invite for us to build an online arbitrage store for you instead. And uh, you know, you have to decide back to 28th and uh, do note, 
that online arbitrage requires $20,000 in funding. And that was the moment where I realized, okay, he is, he's desperate. Now this ultimately didn't work for them as their past clients had no interest in giving them 30K again for a new course. As tensions mounted and their reputation collapsed, Just One Dime tried to convince their Amazon clients to sign NDAs to prevent them from disclosing just how bad things had gotten. On November 19th, Ace messaged me and asked me to sign an NDA, non-disclosure agreement, so that I would not talk about my experience with Just One Dime, and uh, they asked all of their investors to sign this, and I said no. The new course and the NDAs weren't enough, and Just One Dime filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy on November 23rd. Now, Chapter 7 is a liquidation bankruptcy, meaning all the assets of the business are sold off to pay creditors. Banks will get paid first, and if any is left over for the clients, they will get what's left. Now, filing a bankruptcy puts all this information out in the open, and we can see just how much Just One Dime was making. In 2022, they made a total of nearly 13 million selling their scam courses. In 2021, they made a whopping 30 million, and then when the walls crashed in on them, they only raked in 6 million in 2022. Now that's just from the past three years and Seth and his team have been selling other courses for many more years. On top of that, we can see just how wealthy this guy and his family are. Just one dime profits were used to buy a total of nine properties for Seth and his children. These range from mansions in Miami, Florida to vacation homes in Mexico and Guatemala. These nine properties had a combined total of $3.5 million and just further proves my point that these guys know the real money is in selling the courses while they sucker people into unprofitable Amazon businesses. Now, why Seth ultimately decided to file for bankruptcy is because his clients, without getting what they were promised, turned on him. As of the filing, Just One Dime had a total of eight lawsuits that were pending against them, all for breach of contract. Seth realizing that they would most likely lose these cases and be forced to pay ungodly amounts of money decided to file for bankruptcy. It's very unfortunate that so many people have lost massive amounts of money trusting Seth to create profitable businesses for them. If you want to see what people are saying, I'll have a link below to their Trustpilot reviews and needless to say, it is brutal. Ultimately, I don't know if his clients will get their money back. Much of it was already spent on unprofitable items from China and what's left will go back to pay businesses and banks first. If enough is left over after liquidation, the individuals will get to pick at what's left. Sadly, this is not the last time I'm going to have to make a video like this. Aside from Amazon courses, there are many other grifters on YouTube selling similar dropshipping courses, crypto bot trading courses, and affiliate marketing courses. All of these are designed to make the person selling the course rich, not the person taking it. Keep that in mind next time you see someone pimping a $1,000 course on literally anything.